gonna have a what day powerful day good job and if you think to do something bad you're gonna think about the steps and the consequence right mm -hmm. and make a good decision right yep okay Here all right y'all he's off uh, no go ahead kate i need you to put your coat on grab your coat out the closet and put it on y'all hear those little voices in the back Say hi to the vlog, y'all. I have Kaden and Ryan. The bus was late and I was just getting ready to pull off and go to the store and they were still at the bus stop, so I grabbed them. Layla's on the bus. She about to be to the school before us. So anyway, I had to make a detour. Make sure they got to school. The sun is beaming. So after I drop them off, I'm gonna go to the um, store and grab my stuff that I need to make my smoothies. It's cold out here. Y'all both better keep y'all jacket zipped up. Okay. So y'all get sick. Y'all know y'all can catch pneumonia? Y'all know what pneumonia is? Yes. Okay, you know people die from pneumonia? Yes. Okay, then why would you risk getting pneumonia, Katie? If you know that. Pneumonia is when fluid is on your lungs. It's, it's by getting sick. And sometimes you can have what's called walking pneumonia, which means that you walk around like everything is normal, but you're actually sick. But your body doesn't let you know that you have it. And people just die from it. Okay? So in weather like this, you have to make sure that you keep yourself bundled up. Y'all both got coats on, but they both were unzipping. And Kaden, I told you to make sure you had your coat on. Now we're right behind y'all bus. I wish they could let y'all on now, but that's dangerous. Wow, you, you went very fast and if you could right behind Yeah, that is our bus. Mm -hmm. Where do y'all normally sit on the bus? About I in the middle. Sit up, up, like, no, across from me. Yeah, most, yeah, always. Yeah, always across from me. Is that in the front or the middle or the back? The middle. middle. Okay. Mm, 13, I think. No, 11, 11. 11. You got that some bus, yeah. And y'all both, Ryan, does the teacher ever call home about your behavior or are you good in school? Oh, good for you. Kaden, you need to follow Ryan's lead, okay? Because Ryan is a good leader. There's a good leader and then there's a bad leader. So sometimes it's okay to follow people if they're doing what's right. When I get a call home, that means I'm actually doing See, I'm wa I want to get a call home saying that Kaden's doing good. But instead, I get calls saying that Kaden's not behaving. So you need to, R Ryan, mm -hmm. when you see Kaden misbehaving sometimes just say Kaden don't forget you know the, the the consequence okay and you guys help each other out because that's what friends do Kaden you better start paying attention and um, taking better leadership okay yeah. like we'll start with listening to directions when I told you to keep your jacket zipped up and you didn't so that's already starting the day off not listening right mm -hmm. okay so fix it Tell him, Ryan. Kaden, you heard him. Come on. You both of them? Yes. Too hot. I got a secret. Well, if you don't want to wear the um, vest, and take the vest off, but you need to definitely have that jacket on, that coat on. Yeah, you're, you're definitely having that coat on. I'm thinking that sometimes in some of your classes it might be cold. Is it ever cold in some of y'all classes? It's a, it's, it is in the um. Country. See? Then that's when you can have your vest on, Kaden. <laughs> Are you going to September? 
I wanted to take Caden for um, his birthday in August. But I don't know. We might go somewhere. We might go um, somewhere else. And we might we might play in Disney for next year. When Dinks and Lucas can come with us. Because I know that Auntie Winter going to want to bring the kids to Disney too. So. They ain't paying me no money, y'all. Anyway, we're about to be at this school. I'll hit y'all back. Alright, y'all. So that was a little detour for the morning. But it's okay. I had to make sure that the babes and his friend got to school safe and sound, even though we ended up directly behind their bus. But, um, yeah, I don't know why the bus was so late. But, um, so now I'm headed to Walmart. Y'all know the usual. And I'm just going to stock back up on my um, frozen fruits. I need to get some more apples, some eggs, grapefruit. And I have to figure out what we're eating for dinner. So I'm going to um, grab something for dinner. But I don't know what, what we're going to have because we just literally had a salmon. I'm sure Sean's not going to want a salmon again. Um, I guess I could do eggplant parmesan, but I don't really feel like making that. So it's kind of quick to make. It's not like a long process. Maybe I'll make the eggplant parmesan. Yeah, I'll probably do eggplant parmesan. The only thing is that Walmart, sometimes, you know, I don't, their produce section is just, I'll see if they have some eggplants. Hopefully this morning they will. If not, if I have enough time, I'll run over to my other spot and get them two little small eggplants. And then, um, him and Katie can have some garlic bread with theirs, and I'll do a side, small salad with mine. So yeah, I'm just gonna do the two smoothies a day and one meal with just protein and two veggies. So we'll see how that goes. Cause y'all know, on the weekends, it seems like it seems like I eat a lot on the weekends but I really don't like majority of the time actually all the time um that we go out to eat I um never like never ever ever eat my meal look at me y'all putting my glasses on top of my glasses I never um finish my meal I always and if we get like a little appetizer or something I never um I never um, even barely touch my meal because I'd be full. So, this is my fresh brew tea from last night from Chick fil A. And because it's winter time and 30 degrees outside, my car was refrigerated overnight. So, didn't even need to bring it inside. It's nice and cold. That's my benefit. To up north living I do like is if you do leave food or something accidentally in the car or whatever it's fine y'all see my nails though I'm roughing it they were loose and they kept like clicking on stuff and bending and stuff like that so I just took them off yesterday and my girl comes back tomorrow so I'm just gonna wait till Thursday on my day off and go to her Right and early in the morning, get my nails done up. It's like everybody in that shop is afraid to do something like out their comfort zone, I guess, with nails. Um, and she just, like, whatever I bring to her, whatever picture I bring to her, she'll try her best to implement it. And then if I come with my stuff, like, I'm, I haven't done it, but excuse me. I'm sure if I came with like some nail accessories and stuff like that, she'll make it happen. So I was thinking about going online and just ordering up a whole bunch of like stuff for my nails and having her um, do designs that I want. Cause, excuse me y'all. If y'all follow me on Instagram, then y'all will see these nails I posted the other day. They were like a metallic gold with flowers on them. They look so bomb, y'all. Like, I love... I'm trying to figure out where I can go or what 
exactly those are their stickers the little flowers or whatever because the nail polish of course I can easily get that but the design it's not hand painted for sure it looks like maybe like stickers or something not really stickers but you know what I'm saying so if I could figure out where to get that I would be good but um when we go on our girls trip I want something bright vibrant and screams me so if y'all not following the girl on Instagram what y'all waiting for Chrissy J's way C-R-I-S-S-Y-J S W A Y. Go ahead and follow and connect with your girl. Yeah, follow me and I'll follow back. And um, yeah, so I'm really gonna start getting into, you know, trying to like make shoes and like just I'm trying to get into not fashion. Well, I guess it is fashion to an extent. I mean, I guess I've always, always, always been into fashion. I just never. I don't think I ever like jumped into it like went hard with it or whatever because I just was I don't know I always felt I couldn't really really wear everything I wanted to wear I felt more so that I had to be like oh this is cute for my size let me get it or this is the cutest thing in my section let me get it you know what I'm saying it's not like how I really would want to put stuff together like I could I could dress a smaller chick down okay like I could dress that chick down and I feel like you know for my size, I dress pretty good. I always get compliments and stuff like that. Like, I definitely dress very nice. And it's bigger that dress really, really nice. You know what I'm saying? Now, when I was bigger than what I am now, um, it was getting out of control. You know what I'm saying? Where some women that are big, like 300 plus pounds, they still dress very nice, you know? But for me, and this is just my personal opinion for me, for my body and everything, um, I just no longer like how I looked and stuff, you know what I'm saying? And I didn't want to feel like, oh, I had to settle for this when I really want to wear that, but I can't fit that, you know what I'm saying? So, like, I just started to resort to all black and then leggings because I felt like that's just what was comfortable. And I realized that the more stuff I wore that was comfortable, the bigger I was getting, you know what I'm saying? Like, I actually, like, for a long period of time, stopped wearing jeans and was always wearing leggings because I didn't want to feel the fact that they're tight or they're uncomfortable around my waist or my stomach or whatever. But if I were to do that, that's a constant reminder. It might have just pretty much got on my daggone nerves to lose, uh, you know, the weight quicker or, or earlier or whatever. But needless to say, um... <laughs> Now that I lost about, what did I lose? 60 pounds or so, yeah. Uh, now that I lost about 60 pounds, or 50, 55, 60 pounds, yeah, 60 pounds, um, I still have about hmm, 40, 50 more to go, I guess. I really can't put a number on it. At first, I put a number on it, but then I'm just like, you know, I'm tall, and when I look back at my pictures, especially from, like, when I lived in Florida and stuff, you know, I could probably, in those pictures, stand to lose 15 pounds. And if 15, if I would have lost 15 pounds in my Florida days and then worked out with it and really looked nice, I would have been fine. And that would have left me at, like, 215, 220, 25 pounds. You know what I'm saying? So, I really don't need to be 195 or whatever. I just think for my own personal, like, hoorah, I just want to be like, oh, I'm one something. You know what I'm saying? But coming from 310 pounds, my highest 318, I think, or was my highest 322. I think I saw a 322 on the scale and, like, was like, oh, my God, this is scary. And then I, like, hurried up and got out of the 322, and I think I was at, like, I stayed around like 310, but I stayed around 310 for a while, and that's not cool, you know what I'm saying? So it's like to feel, it feels good to just even say I'm two something again, but now because I've been two something majority of my life, I'm, I want to be able to at least say I weigh one something, you know what I'm saying? 195. But 195, 200, give or take, it, it will allow me the flexibility to go up 10, 15 pounds and not have to stress versus me being 215 and going up 
15 pounds you know what i'm saying so whatever at the end of the day it's all in what makes you happy what makes you healthy where you're going to be healthy at blah 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 so it's 8 42 definitely got a late start um gotta be to work in basically an hour but i shouldn't be long in here i'm literally just gonna go to the produce section and get out of there um i have so much to do at home today so i'm gonna really try to utilize every break i have and it's like i work from home and people be like oh you work from home What's that? i don't work from home where i can just roam around the house and you know have a headset a wireless headset walking around just talking to people and i don't have to be attached to a computer you know what i'm saying I have to be attached to a computer. You know, it's like a virtual call center, so to speak. I'm taking, you know, claims and dealing with billing issues and stuff like that. So I have to actually go into accounts. And so it's like I have to be in front of the computer. Everything we do on there, whether we go to the bathroom or whatever, everything is tracked. So it's like... You know, you don't want to abuse the system. So when I go, when I go put myself in bathroom, I really need to be using the bathroom because you don't want to put yourself in bathroom and then go like put a load of clothes in. And then when you really have to use the bathroom, ten minutes later, you putting yourself back in bathroom. That starts to look crazy. You know what I'm saying? Some days I do have a, um, bathroom breaks more than others, but that's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? Some days I I got more than other days, but um. Yeah, so I think that's the part that really gets to me because even though I'm home, it's still hard for me to do things that I need to do and take care of things I need to take care of. But at the same time, I also have to look at it on the flip side and I have to also be thankful and grateful, which I am. Don't get it twisted. I, I'm definitely thankful. I'm blessed. I have a very good job, very good pay, work from home. You know what I'm saying? Like, what more can I ask for? Very, very good benefits. Um... The flip side to it is that if I was at the office, nothing would get done. I wouldn't be able to put a load of clothes in on my lunch break. I wouldn't be able to cook or start dinner. You know what I'm saying? So I look at it like that, and I'm just like, at the end of the day, I have to just utilize my time. Now, today, I actually did get up out the bed. It was to look for my phone, but I got up out the bed at 6 o'clock. And then every five minutes, Sean kept saying, what time is it? What time is it? I'm like, get up. It's 6.20 now. So that's a start for me, y'all. Because usually I just like get there in the bed and I'm just like tired and exhausted. So I actually got up. I finished uploading the vlog finally. So I finally have Valentine's Day vlog up. Sorry for the delay. But that's up. And um, because I'm so new to YouTube, I don't have a lot of views. Hardly none at all. But the key to success is to keep going and don't let that discourage you so i'm just gonna keep on posting even if it's just for me to just document my life or for kaden to look back on it or whatever the case is i'm just gonna document it everything that we do and all the good times bad times whatever and so um yeah so i did that and i almost got myself up to say all right, go in your office and, you know, take care of something. But then I was like, nope, I don't want to be in that office because I got to be in that office all day. And then I was like, okay, go down to some workout. And then I was like, mm, nah, let me just, you know, chill. So I'm just like getting up or whatever. But I'm going to get there, y'all. I'm going to get there. So, <clears throat> um, Sean works his night job today. So I'm going to cook so he can come home if he decides to. And um, and uh, get something to eat. If he doesn't, then when I get off work, I'll probably take a, a drive and um, bring him some food. Which at that point it might be pointless because he gets off at ten thirty. I get off at eight thirty. So it's like by the time I get off and get to you, it's gonna be like nine nine fifteen. So might as well just wait another hour to come home and eat. So I don't know. I'll talk to him and figure out, see if he can manage to. Um, make it to the house after his first job 
he lost his wallet and at his job yesterday he was blown because he was like i know i had it in here so someone in here has my wallet and i'm like well hopefully they turn it in you know he has some cash in there his credit card and bank card and stuff and his id of course and then after we went through everything i'm like well a little 40 dollars cash that you had in there that could easily be replaced whatever you know what i'm saying i can cancel your cards and stuff for you um uh, or you can cancel them and then i said um you know yeah, license is a hassle to have to get back and all that stuff. So when he went in there today, they said that they somebody turned in his wallet or whatever. So I haven't talked to him to see if everything was in there or not. But I'm assuming so. I'm assuming they wouldn't just leave his um, ID in there. And the cards and stuff were t are, turn were turned are, t are turned off. So he does still have to get replacement cards. But at least they could be replaced, right? But at least somebody don't not walk around the earth with your license and your social and shit like that. So anyway, y'all, I'm at Walmart, so let me run ahead and get what I gotta get, cause y'all know time is not on my side. Hi, y'all, I'm back home. So here's my quick Walmart haul. Um, just a few things to get us through the week or the rest of the week, yeah. So, um, I got, decided to get these, which is sliced strawberries, peaches, and mango. I got two bags of those frozen fruits. Um, we still have some bananas back there, which one is kind of slightly going bad. So, I'll have to use those up. Um, this is the cheese I'm going to use for the, um, eggplant parmesan. I'm so annoyed because I forgot breadcrumbs and we need eggs. So I'm going to probably end up making that on my day off because that's something that I don't want to rush. And make. I got three bags of frozen cauliflower, which I'll probably end up putting in the blender just to blend it up so I can use it as like rice or do like a mash with it. I got these ginger chews, which are my all-time fave. I got those from the Italian, I mean the um, international market. Oh, excuse me. I got um some swag. Kaden loves this stuff. Pussy going on. And then, ooh la la. So I'm gonna just make me and Sean a really nice um dinner. Actually, you know what? I'm tripping. He doesn't even like lobster, y'all. Cannot stand lobster. So that'll be for moi. And then I'll make him his swag fish. Got some baked potatoes. Some eggplant, my lemons, parmesan cheese, onions, and then usually for my um, eggplant parmesan, I usually do Bartuli's marinara sauce because it's really good, and then I mix it with the Prego traditional um, sauce. So I don't do like all marinara on it, and it comes out really, really good. Like everyone loves when I make that. And then these are my favorite all-time waters when I want what feels to be like a soda or juice, something sweet with a burp. I drink on this. So yeah, guys, that's my morning haul from Walmart.